Hey everybody, welcome to How To Videos with Dr. Amy Gates. Today we're going to look at using SPSS to run a one-way ANOVA test. The research question that we're going to look at, which is a little silly, but will work for us, is does the number of Facebook friends that a person has significantly differ for different hair colors? In other words, does different hair colors like black or blonde or brunette actually affect the number of Facebook friends that a person might have? So in this case, our independent variable is going to be hair color. We have only one independent variable, but that variable is going to be separated into the eight different groups or eight different hair colors that I have on my data set. So in this particular data set, I have people with black hair, people with blonde hair, brunette, chemically altered, no hair, red hair, and gray hair. So in my independent variable of hair color, I'm going to separate into eight different independent groups. And then for each group and all together, I'm wondering, is there a significant difference in the mean number of Facebook friends? So my null hypothesis is going to be that all eight of my groups have an equal mean Facebook friends. My research or my alternative hypothesis is that at least one of my eight groups is significantly different. And it can be more than one, but at least one is significantly different. So again, my one independent variable is hair color. I have hair color broken into eight different groups because that's how many hair colors I want to compare. My dependent variable is Facebook friends because that's the variable I'm looking at. And I'm wondering if there's a significant difference between different hair colors and how many friends they have. And so my null hypothesis is that there's no significant difference between any of my groups. And my research hypothesis is that at least one of my eight groups or more is significantly different. So let's run SPSS and see how this works. This is my data set in SPSS. And you can see the variable hair that I'm looking at here. And if you look down, you can see all the different hair colors, chemically altered, brunette, black, and so on, that I have. And then if I scroll over, we can also see the other variable I'm looking at, which is the number of Facebook friends. To run this particular test, I want to click on Analyze, General Linear Model, and Univariate. I'm choosing univariate because I have only one dependent variable that I'm looking at. In this case, my dependent variable is the number of Facebook friends. So I'll choose univariate. And then as you see, I've run this a couple of times, but let me put these guys back and we'll start over. I first have to tell SPSS, what is my dependent variable? What am I comparing? And I know that I want to look at the number of Facebook friends that all these different people with different hair colors have to see if there's a significant difference. So I'm going to move that into my dependent variable slot. My fixed factors are my independent variables. In this case, I have one independent variable that I'm looking at, which is hair color. And I'm going to move that over. Now you might be thinking, well, do I have to tell SPSS all the different hair colors that I have or specify the groups? The answer is no, you don't have to. SPSS will automatically do this analysis for all the different hair color groups that we have, and we have eight different groups. So that's automatic. The next thing that we're going to do is choose some of these. Uh, we're going to choose plots, post talk, and then options over here on these right option panel. The plots option allows SPSS to create for us a graph of sorts that shows us the differences between our number of Facebook friends and the different hair colors. And that's always interesting just to see. So I'm going to go ahead and put the hair in the horizontal axis of my plot. And in order to get SPSS to do this, I have to click Add. Forgetting to click Add is actually a really common error. So if you have trouble here, this might be what happened. When I click Add, it puts it down at the bottom and says, OK, I'm going to build you a plot to compare all the different Facebook friends per hair color. Now I'll click Continue. Next, I'm going to click something called Post Talk. Post Talk is a method that SPSS uses to create a giant table where it compares 
every one of your hair colors, in this case, all of your groups, to every other one of your group items. So it's going to compare everybody with black hair to all the other hair colors. And then it's going to compare everyone with red hair to all the other hair colors and so on. So it's going to create a pretty big table that does individual comparisons. When I click this, I need to tell SPSS, OK, do this comparison for all the hair variables. And I'm going to use Shafe to make this multiple comparison. There are other options for doing this, but Shafe is the one that I generally use and the one that I'm going to show here. I'll click Continue. And then finally, when I click the Options button, I just want to tell SPSS to give me the descriptive statistics like mean and standard deviation for my hair variable so I can just have a look at them. And then I'll click Continue, and I'm ready to run my ANOVA test. I'll click OK. Now let's look at some of these results. The descriptive statistics come out, and it shows me the mean Facebook friends for people with black hair, blonde hair, brunette, chemically altered, gray, no hair, and so on. It also gives us the standard deviation and the number of people in my data set who are in this group. If I scroll down further, I can get the results of the ANOVA test. That's called the test of between subject effects. And I need to look in here for the variable, which in my case is hair. So when I find hair, I scroll over and I can see the result of the ANOVA test and I can see the p-value or the significance of my test. Now anytime your significance or p-value is not less than your alpha value, which in our case is 0.05, we do not have a significant result. So in this case, 0.161 is a lot larger than 0.05. It's a lot bigger than our alpha value. So this is not a significant result, and that means to us that we cannot reject the null. In other words, there's no significant difference between the mean number of Facebook friends and the color hair a person has. There's no significant difference. That's what this value tells us. Now I'm going to scroll down further and show you the result of the post hoc or Shafe test. This is called a multiple comparison because it takes every one of your hair colors, in our case, every one of your groups, and it compares them to every other one of the elements of your group. So black is compared to blonde, brunette, chemically altered, gray, bald, and red. And then blonde is compared to black, brunette, and so on and so forth. Every one of my eight hair colors is compared to all the others individually. And this is very useful when your ANOVA test is significant and you want to try to figure out which one of these is actually significantly different. Again, you're given a p-value here or a significance. And any time this value is less than your alpha value or less than 0.05, you have a significant result or a significant difference. However, again, in our case, all of these significance values are much, much bigger than 0.05, telling us that there is no significant difference between any of these individual hair colors with any other. They're all much, much larger than our alpha value. So in this case, again, we reconfirm the results of our ANOVA test. We have no significant differences between hair color with respect to Facebook friends. Finally, we get to see our fun graph that SPSS makes for us when we choose that plot. Notice it puts all the hair color on the horizontal axis because that's what we told it to do. And then over here on the vertical axis it gives us the mean number of Facebook friends. And this is just a quick way to see who has the most, who has the least. We know that there's not a significant difference, but it's maybe interesting to see that the absolute max Facebook friends is blonde. Maybe, maybe we thought this was true. The next one is people with black hair. And then finally, let's see, we have these two are pretty close together. And then our lowest ones are red and gray and so on. So this plot allows you to quickly view the means and what they look like in comparison with each other for all of our groups. 
So that's how you run and analyze a one-way ANOVA test in SPSS. For our next how-to video, we're going to look at two-way ANOVAs, and we're also going to look at what happens when our results are significant and we do get to reject the mean. I'm sorry, we get to reject the null. So join me next time. Thanks, everybody.